Good morning, raccoons. You're about to join us in the pledge. All right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Um, we talked yesterday about saying committed. Hopefully, you took a little bit of time to reflect on that and what that means. As you continue to think through this transition from term one to term two, whether it's new classes or not, keep in mind a couple of key dates. First one is next Tuesday is when your report cards will go live. So if you're looking to update transcripts or update universities or anything else like that, your GPA will be updated and all that information will be posted. We'll send you an email as soon as that comes along. Right? The other thing that you just want to keep in your mind is at the end of the month, we're already going to start to talk about scheduling for next year. So we'll talk more about that down the road. But you know, like I said, Thanksgiving's coming up quick. And then also to clarify for the people who have asked me, this is not the raccoon I hit. This was already here. I left it there. We should have picked them up, though. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, November 7th, and we have our official Thanksgiving Day countdown. There are 16 days until Thanksgiving and only 10 more school days. It is prep week for many of our students involved in the fall musical, and we are so excited for the show. It is Once Upon a Mattress, and tickets are still available. The staff and student show is on November 16th at 4 o'clock, but the show will run from November 10th through the 18th. Tickets are on sale now at the OAC box office, so go get your ticket. For anyone interested in the Coast Guard, they will be here Thursday during Pride in the Rec. Contact Mrs. Mueller if you are interested in attending. In club news, for anyone interested in competitive trap shooting, there is an informational meeting on Thursday, November 9th, that's this Thursday, in Mr. Casper's room during Pride. This is for anyone interested with any skill level, so if you've never done it, go try it out. Sign up under Mr. Casper's Pride. Also, Spanish Honor Society is partnering with the YMCA to provide take-and-bake Thanksgiving meals for families in Oconomowoc and Watertown. See the list for items to bring in such, um, such as stuffing, canned green beans, canned corn, and plenty of other things. Drop off items in Senora Chasse's room, which is room 353 by the 14th. All right, now for some sports news. Girls basketball tryouts started yesterday and they'll continue into they will continue into today. Good luck to all the girls trying out. Also, boys basketball is looking for a team manager, so please go contact coach Benish or coach Fisher if you are interested. The boys season starts November 13th, which is next Monday. Another big announcement that we hope to see everyone at there's an athletic signing tomorrow during lunch in the field house. All <laughs> Look, a little over 10 athletes signing. Um, we hope to see everybody there. Congratulations to everyone. And Fieldhouse tomorrow, lunch, athletic signing. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube at OHS Digital Productions and Instagram at OHS underscore RCC. And as always, share your news with our team at RCC at OSD.org. And here is Mr. Curtis with the joke of the day. He's not on. All right, this is more of a statement. What's full of flowers, but also a snake? I didn't think this is a joke. Have the best day of your life, raccoons.